Hello, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. Join, please join. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hopefully we have no problems today. <laughs> no, because we are on the main one. But this will not be the one for people that are joining us on Saturday because that's for ticket holders. Um, it'll be a separate link. But this will be all week we're going to be on this lake. <clears throat> hello, hello, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. Let me just go over here and make sure that everyone knows we're here. Hi, come on in everyone. Oh, Mr. Abbott, there's Mr. Abbott. Hi everyone. We are having 70 degree weather here in New York City. It's lovely, lovely day. Seventy degrees, my dog loved it. I had to get off my separate little I got out my, um, what do you call it? I got it out my trench coat. I don't need my big heavy coat anymore. I'm just gonna say I don't need it at all anymore for the rest of the year. I'm gonna hang it up in the closet. But if I hang it up in the closet, I'll probably need it again. <clears throat> all right, all right, people are coming. I'm gonna wait till exactly 1 p.m. and then I'm gonna start. Um, if you guys have not watched from yet on epics, you guys should check it out because John, the executive producer, creator and writer is going to be on our panel on Sunday. Yes, it's really good. It is Evans. I mean, on Saturday, he's going to be on our panel on Saturday and, you know, um, so get your questions ready. We have John, for you guys that are joining us on Saturday, we, uh, we have one person I can't tell you, but it's so big, I can't tell you. <laughs> so, and we have uh, John Griffin, the executive producer, creator of From on Epics. We have um, David Wilton, the executive producer, creator of Face to Face with David on Amazon. And we have Amanda Richards, uh, one of the heads of talent and casting at Sony. She runs the um, diversity showcase at Sony. And we have two, we have had two actors in the diversity showcase. We got another one in this year. We're very excited about that. Um, and so make sure you do a little research on them because you want to have good questions to ask them. There is going to be plenty of time for you to ask the panel questions on Saturday if you're joining us. So, um, you know, go watch from, uh, go check them out on IMDb Pro, right? Um, so you know who's going to be here. Again, that's John Griffin, executive producer of From um, on Epics. Uh, David Wilton, O-U-L-T-O-N, executive producer of Face to Face with David on Amazon, and Amanda Richards, 
one of the heads of casting for Sony are going to be our guests on um, Saturday's Accelerate Live event. So get your questions ready. I will do my best to call on as many of you as I can um, to ask questions. Okie dokie. All right, here we are. Leo, are you back? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. You're back in America. I am. How was the shoot? It was good. It was it was a it was a fun shoot. Um, I have a sty in my eye. If anyone's wondering what's going on here, uh, which That's means that that I now have my own story of being an American seeking medical help in Europe and being like, holy fuck, because <laughs> <laughs> I because I went I went to the hospital in in uh, Ljubljana on uh, on on Saturday, uh, uninsured. Saw two doctors. 48 euros, two prescriptions, 1350. And, uh, and then, and then like I, I was, I was, I was hurt. I was on set all Friday and, and, um, and I was like feeling the pain in, in my eyelid and just going, don't Google it. Don't Google it. And, uh, cause I'll convince myself I got something worse. And, uh, and then I saw a bit of a sore that night. So I went to the doctor the next day cause I wasn't on set till that, till that afternoon. And, and then, I went and I told the director, and, and they gave me some prescriptions again, you know, a bit better than it was. And I told the director, and word starts getting around that at one point the producers, like I'm walking by the producer's tent, she's like, "Hey, we heard what's going on. How are you doing?" And she and she and, she, and she's like, "Why didn't you say something yesterday? We had a medic on set." I was like, "I didn't know that." And I and I mentioned the the how cheap the hospital bill was, and and she was like, "Yeah, send that to us. That's that's let us do that." I was like, "Oh, good. So, yeah, they." <laughs> Lucky Generals is the company. They're good to work with. Um, so I saw someone say something about peppermint. What? Oh, uh, that was probably someone in LA. No, 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 no. Sorry, just now. Someone. I got a direct message from. Uh, from Sorry, was it you, Heidi? <laughs> a tea bag. Well, this. Okay, so the doctor. The doctor gave me uh, one <clears throat> antibiotic cream and some drops to put in it, and said to 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 put. To, to to compress it with a with to to give it a heated compress a dry, dry heat, so I just went by the store and picked up some of those hand warmers. Awesome. That is dry awesome. heat. That is dry heat. All yeah. right. Awesome. Well, glad you're back, and I'm sorry about the sty in the eye. All right. Let's but get let's get, well. into, uh, let's get into what we're talking about today. Uh, we got a good quorum here for Purim. Did you like my Jewish joke? Quorum for Purim. Hello, hello. Okay. Um, did anyone ever see um, For Your Consideration, Christopher Guest's movie? Uh, it's about these people, these B-rated actors that are uh, doing a movie called Home for Purim. And then they get into Oscar consideration. It's a mockumentary. It's so freaking funny. And I always think when I hear it's Purim, I always think of uh, that, that film. Uh, it's hilarious. Um, I'm a big uh, Christopher Guest fan. Okay, so, um, so welcome, welcome to week two of the challenge. Week two of the challenge. Um, all right. Uh, so uh, here we go. We're going to get into nuts and bolts this week. So we are going to talk about pitching. Um. So we're going to talk about what is a pitch today, and your uh, challenge is to, uh, your assignment is, and I will repeat this again, and then I'm going to show you some um, stuff which was going to help you. Take one of the people off of your list and build a pitch video for them and post it in the I Love Actors Facebook group and I will do my best to look at all of them. If you post late tonight for you guys in LA, it might not happen, but I'm gonna do my best to get through as much as I can, okay? Um, so you are gonna pick one. Now, I do wanna talk about this and I'm gonna show you about a pitch for you guys that have never pitched, but um, 
don't choose Steven Spielberg because you're never going to find his email address. If Steven Spielberg is on your list, go to a Steven Spielberg project and start going through everyone underneath him and see if you can find an email address there. For you guys that are clients, you have access to the database, which will help you uh, find a list. For you guys that are not clients, you know, ask in the I Love Actors Fast Track page, ask in the I Love Actors page. And I'm sure if you're looking for someone's email address, ask, but don't ask before you do your own research. So, you know, hopefully you find someone to, to pitch to that is pretty easy to pitch. Now, here's the thing. I don't really have time in this challenge to go through technical, like how do I send a pitch? How do I, how do I post it? Like, how do I do all of those things? We will do our best to help you with that. Um, you know, um, it's better if you send a pitch video with the video actually in the body of the email. You don't have to have the video in the body of the email, but you should at least have a screenshot of the video, not just a link. Because people are more likely to click a picture than they are a link. All right, so I'm gonna go through a little PowerPoint from our actor's pitch course. Um, which some of you guys were in, and this is our pitch course. So this will just help you to understand what is in a pitch, okay? So first of all, what is a pitch? A pitch is a speech given to someone to persuade them to buy something, you, okay? That speech can be given in person, on video, in email or a letter or social media, okay? Now, you guys, so if you guys can't figure out the video pitch and you just wanna write a pitch for the purpose of this challenge this week, that is fine with me. I would, all week we're gonna be working on developing your pitch so you can actually start to sell yourself by the end of the week, right? I didn't ask you for this assignment to send it out. I asked you to write a pitch to someone that you put on your list last Friday, write a pitch and post it in the Facebook group. And then hopefully me and Scott, I'm gonna get Scott to help as well, will go along and we'll give you notes on your pitch, okay? Right, so there's types of pitches, right? There are two types of pitches. There's a customer pitch, which is what we are talking about in this challenge, pitching to casting director, producer, director, or writer, okay? Um, but there's also agent and manager pitches as well. So you can use this next list that I'm gonna give you um, and this will help you. So these are all the elements that you can have or, or are part of a pitch. Now, here's what I want to make clear. I'm going to give you a bunch of fucking elements right now. Do not put all of these elements in your pitch. I'm just giving you a list so you can have this list and you can be like, oh, well, I'm going to put that, that, and that in this pitch. But that way, this is this is like for all of our clients at Actors Fast Track, you guys, we develop what we call a pitch bucket, okay? These are all the elements that are in a pitch bucket. So that means every time you go to pitch yourself, you aren't like going, what am I going to say, right? You have this bucket here and you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this and I'm going to use that. And for like clients or like, for instance, let me talk to Oliver specifically. So Oliver, you sent me a bunch of sentences for your branding work. All of those sentences you sent me can go in your pitch bucket, right? And so, because at some point we might use one of those sentences. What I'm pulling out for you right now and Carolina right now 
as new clients, and, and I just went through this process with Emma, um, it is it's like what I'm pulling out is what is going to be like the one or two words that we always use to like that we sort of attach to your picture. But all of the work that you do for me as my client, you can throw all of that into your pitch bucket. So that way you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you go to start selling yourself. Okay. All right. So here are all the elements that are in you guys's pitch bucket. Your branding statement or how you describe yourself as a product. When I, once I list all of these, I'm going to, I'm going to show you some sample pitches for me of myself. Okay. Um, two, a fun story about yourself, something that brings your personality out that shows how to cast you sort of thing like that. Who you get compared to physically, spiritually, acting wise, you know, what, who you look like or who you act like. Um, your credits. So any past credits that you have. Your auditions or your callbacks. Okay, so your auditions or your callbacks. Where or who you studied with, okay? Log lines, right? So this is one of my log lines. I play the woman who lives across the street from you. When you see me coming, you turn off your lights and pretend like you're not home. A log line is how they usually post for auditions, right? So a log line is usually how they post for auditions. I'm gonna show you all this, don't worry. Something that you admire about the person that you are pitching to. A connection to the pitch, the person you are pitching to. Why you might be a match for the thing that they are casting, directing, or writing, or why you me might be a match for their agency, okay? Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate this list. I'm going to keep this list up for you guys. Take a picture of it or write it down. So I'll give you a chance to take a picture of this list. Hi, casting director. It's Valerie Hubbard. My credits include Castle Agents, The Shield, How I Met Your Mother, Resident Evil, Extinction, True Blood, and pretty much every Disney show. I'm really right for the show that you're casting because I've done that kind of work on several Disney shows. You know, like I tend to play the woman that lives across the street from you. When you see me coming, you turn off your lights and pretend like you're not home. You know, I'm across, frequently I get compared to a bubbly uh, Kathy Bates. So one of my agents said, you're a cross between Kathy Bates and Drew Barrymore, which I think is like pretty perfect for me. So that would be sort of a pitch, right? Asking... The one thing that's not in here, when you're pitching, always ask for what you're pitching for. So if you're pitching for um, a general thing, like just to introduce yourself to someone because you would like to work with them in the future, then tell them that. Say, hi, casting director. Um, I'm not sure what thing what you have going on right now, but I wanted to introduce myself to you because you frequently cast things that are really perfect for me. My name is, and I, you know, and my credits include, or my auditions include, or I went to school in, and I tend to play this. My branding statement is either adorable bully or buoyant ballsy broad who will take you through the fun house. Okay. Now, my funny story that I frequently tell is I got into acting when I was three, when I threw myself down the basement stairs like this. I was throwing a tantrum and my mom thought I was dead. And so she sent my dad down to the bottom of the stairs. And when I was alive, they enrolled me the next day in creative dramatics where I've been ever since, right? That's a funny story. Um, funny stories are like your Jimmy Fallon, your Jimmy Kimmel, 
you know, like your talk show stories that you tell about yourself on the couch, so to speak. Okay, so I'm giving you one less chance, everyone, to take a picture of this elements in your pitch. Um, this, this slide, so you can have these elements as you are beginning to write your pitch for one person on your list that you made last Friday, you made a list of five people that you wanna go after that are gonna help you get towards your dream. You are going to write a pitch for them. Now, here's the other thing. If you want to pitch to someone really big, then you might wanna think about writing a pitch and sending it to them via another form like social media like Instagram, like Twitter, like uh, LinkedIn. And LinkedIn, by the way, is not social media. Um, it is a business platform. So you might want to think about doing that. And again, if you had five gigantic people on your list and you can't find contact information for any of them, go look up those people and look below them. Like if they have a production company, look for people that work for that production company. On LinkedIn, you can actually search. Um, like you could go sh search Shonda Rhimes, uh, people that work for Shonda Rhimes or producers or writers for Shonda Rhimes on LinkedIn. And you could probably come up with, you know, several names along that line. Okay. Um, Right. Um, oh, so the database for clients, there is uh, several. Uh, Scott has Scott has the HubSpot and he will give you access to that if you have not had access to that. Um, if you, if I sent an email on your behalf and Scott didn't get back to you, just email Scott directly. Scott at actorsfasttrack.com. Um, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Who has questions? Anyone? Yeah, Chloe. It's always me. Um, sorry, I just wanted you to repeat the assignment one more yeah. time. So I Absolutely. Would. Take one of the people off your list that you made last week and build a pitch video for them. Post it in the I Love Actors Facebook group and I'm gonna give you notes on it, okay? Now, some of you guys that are already in this process, like I already got Gabe Chris Pan notes on his pitch video that he's doing for Ridley Scott um, for Gladiator 2. And he put in, um, he put in clips. Um, so if you're gonna, um, you know what, let me just show you really quick for you guys that have never seen a pitch video with clips. Let me just show you one really fast. So you know what I'm talking about. Cause you're like, what the hell are you talking about? Okay. Uh, let me do that. And then I see that Evans and Leo have questions, but let me do this first. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a pitch video with clips, okay, everyone? All right, so here's what it looks like, Chloe. So if you wanted to put in um, clips to your pitch video, you could do that. Here we go. Okay, I showed this the other day, but this will help. Hi, Sherry, I'm Scott Cargill. Wait, why is it not? Why is it not? Oh, maybe it's because I need to move you guys over here. Um, and I really- Why is that not working? Hmm, can you guys hear it? You can? Okay, yes. I, I, yes, I can't. Yes, yes. I, can, I can't hear it. Okay, that's fine. It's just I delayed share, a I'm little Scott Cargill, in his mouth. And I really, really want to audition for Andrew Hopper in Casper Lee's new series. Andrew Hopper is right up my alley because I play assholes. 
I play jerky bosses who are, you know, kind of dismissive of their employees. I recently played a cranky executive who was lost in a digital wasteland. Ah, I found it! I'm tired of this. I also see there's lots of physical comedy in the sides, and, you know, I do that. I've pranced around a ring with my prize-winning pizza. I've been oh. smacked by a fish. Oh. Oh. I even did a series of 300 comedy bits like this one for a Facebook game. Now, I'm sure my agent, Courtney at Aqua, has already pitched Okay, me. so that you, can... you guys understand now how you would do a pitch video that. And if you, let's see. And let's just watch one more. Let's watch Brian Coffey. Hi, Brian Coffey. Here we go. <coughs> Hi there. I'm Brian Coffey. I understand that you're <laughs> casting for the role of Kyle in the SpongeBob movie. I'd like to come in for that. Because as you can see, I am a scientist. I'm wearing a lab coat. And also, I just discovered that if you mix baking soda and vinegar, it explodes. <laughs> so if you excuse me, I got to go clean that up. <coughs> okay, I there we go. All right, so that is an, a, an example of a pitch video. Yes, Evans. Hey, I was just wondering if I could get that list of three people. I wasn't able to write it down fast enough. The what? The three people that are going to be there on Saturday. You want us to come up with questions for them? Yes, John Griffin. It's coming out in an email, by the way, but John Griffin, oh. John Griffin from, from, which he's the executive producer. Um, Amanda Richards from Sony. And David Wilton, W-U, I mean, W. O-U-L-T-O-N, David Wilton, O-U-L-T-O-N. Got it, thank you. You're welcome. Leo. Two quick questions. Um, theoretically, if I am pitching myself for something that I don't know, but probably they're gonna be wanting an accent in the actual thing, because it's a high fantasy series, is it important to show that during the pitch video? And two, Theoretically, hypothetically, if I, for example, had some kind of physical flaw that would go away maybe in a few days, should one wait until after that to make the pitch video? Yes, but you know what? It's interesting. I mean, I see that it's there, but it doesn't really... Um... If I didn't have my glasses on. Oh, yeah, without your glasses, you'd... yeah, I would wait. And what about the accent question? Um, I would do an accent. Okay. I would, you know, it might be kind of fun if you did it with them with, like you did a portion of it with an accent and then without. Okay. Yeah. There's someone on here. Oh, Nix. Uh, Nix, uh, who's in the challenge. I know she lives in London, but she has a very, um, mid-Atlantic accent, like a, a very mid-Atlantic accent for you guys that have been watching um, some of the people on there. Uh, yes, Chris Pan. Chris Pan. Hello. Hi, Hello. Valerie. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for looking at my pitch video. Yes. Um, I've taken the notes, so I'm going to deal with that. I just saw Batman with the intention of um, reaching out to Peter Craig, who is the, uh, the screenwriter for Glad Gladiator 2. So I'm following him on Twitter. I can't get his email, even on IMDb. Um, so I can't directly get him, but I can comment on his um, Twitter about Batman. Because I really, I really enjoyed it. Actually, um, I just came back. So, did you see that, Angela? Yeah, yeah, I saw a blink of her eye. <laughs> I saw <laughs> it. One of our clients is in the Batman, y'all. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, you do go and see it. It's really good script, actually. Okay. Um, cool. So, I'd like to 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 comment on that on his um, Twitter, but very carefully. Any, um, shall I just express, you know, briefly what I thought about it, about the script, mainly, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, so. Um, yes, right. in answer to your question, yes, you should do that. 
Okay, and um, this is kind okay. of a hard time because he's the talk of the town this weekend, but that'll be gone by next weekend. Okay, all right, shall I wait till next weekend? Well, I'm just <laughs> telling you, like, you know, you're talking about like, here we are now, it's like he's the talk of the town right now. Okay, I also made a pitch for him. You know, I've just um, at the start, I've just replaced the name, you know, to Peter. So I want to get it to him, but it's going to be hard. Um, there must be a way. So um, I'm sort of trying to sort of brushing through IMDb, but he's got he's under a big management. Um, so Twitter is the closest thing. That yeah, I've got. Did, you go, did you go look at the uh, there's a new database in the client page did you go look at that no with a is he will writers be on there it might be I, I mean there's unbelievable amount of people on there okay then all right all right then thanks Great, thank Chris. you thank you Chloe do you have another question my darling yes please um I was wondering I don't have any clips because my footage from Ghana got like thrown away long story but um yeah <laughs> so what can I add well okay I'm gonna just say I don't know if she's on here but Zoe um Zoe had um you know, Zoe has some had some footage that was just like these funny sketches that she did. And she did one of the best pitch videos of someone I've ever seen. And because it, it was hilarious, like she just cut it really, really well. So I also think that if you don't have footage, you guys, if you don't have footage, you have this. Right. We all have this. So we all have a camera in our house. Right. And what I would recommend is you start shooting some funny sketches or, you know, monologues if you're not comedic, if you're dramatic and, you know, put those on. I mean, Chris, his his uh, pitch that he just submitted for Ridley Scott was a show that he wrote and produced himself about Alexander the Great which is like, he did a trailer for it. And that's what I told him to put within the pitch video. So don't feel like, and you don't have to have a pitch with just, I mean, you guys saw that hilarious thing that Brian Coffey did, you know, and it, it was just him being totally silly and ridiculous. His pitch, by the way, Brian Coffey just got an audition from a pitch video. Yesterday, he's he put up the post in the Facebook group that he got a pitch. For, he got a, an audition from his pitch video. And so um, they're they're very good. You guys, they really work. So I really want you to get this as we do this this week, because they can be very fruitful for you. OK, Chloe. Yes, Anna, my darling. Hello. Hi, Valerie. Um so I was wondering, since I already have the general pitch, yeah. um, can I use the elements that we worked on in the general pitch and then use it for a specific and try yeah, to- Yeah, I want you working on a specific, I mean, as a client and someone that's done, a, a, you know, already worked extensively on your pitch video, I, I want you to start doing specific pitches towards specific people for specific projects. Great. Um, and yeah, should I um, first, before I choose any of these people, try to see if I can find their email? Is that, and then then pick which person to pitch for? Um, yes, but I don't want us to get, I don't, I'm not worried about you, Anna, because I know what kind of client you are. So yes to you, but I don't want everyone to hear this and, and say that. Like, a lot of you guys just decide you can't find someone, you know, you have to become as an actor, you have to become a good little detective. And a lot of times an actor will say to me, oh, I can't find this person's email address. And I go online for five seconds and I find it. Okay. And so one of the things is like, you guys have to figure your way of looking for stuff. Um, one of the things that, Anna, you were on the mastermind last week, right? 
Mm -hmm. and, and you heard Jesse talk about that. Like have your way of what you go through to look for an email address and make that list. That's an operating procedure. And so now, Anna, as you are really building your business, you want to start to set up operating procedures. So your operating procedure is, what do I do to find an email address, right? I go to IMDb Pro. Then I go and see if they're on one of the social medias. Then I, uh, and then I go, maybe I use a production list. Definitely the database, right? Um, IO Hunter Rocket Reach, Right. And so once you kind of figure out what are your things, you can figure out like, you know, like those are the things I generally use. Your best clients and new coach, we have a brand new coach at Actors Fast Track, Alec Teacher. He is a genius at finding people's email addresses. Right. Like, I don't know what he does. The other great the other great person is Jessica Dowdswell. The reason she's so good is because she worked for celebrity services. So she has access to a lot of people's information. But you know, you can always ask them. Right. But, don't, but like, don't be the little boy that cried wolf. You know, figure out your way of finding email addresses and then, you know, at, because you you want to have these systems set up for yourself. Sounds great. And okay. Should I write the text down or just make the video? Well, you can just write the text down and put it in the group because, um, because I already know what your video is going to look like. Okay. Because you've right. already Thank done you. you've already done pitch videos. All right. Thanks, Anna. Hey, Lynn. Hi, Valerie. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just messing about with screens here. Um, yeah, my question is the second guy that you showed us, he looked as if he was playing the role. Is that something that you are recommending? Well, I, I don't know the role. In. Yeah, so, well, it's SpongeBob movie, which is like obviously comedic and children's. And so, you know, he was he was right in his delivery of what he was doing for that part. Um, and it made sense because he was pitching himself for a specific project where they were going to cast someone as uh, as vibrant as Brian Coffey. Now, Brian Coffey, his his branding is he's the smartest dumb guy in the room. That's his brand. That's his log line, the smartest dumb guy in the room. He generally does, obviously, you can tell, he does a lot of sitcoms and a lot of comedy, right? And so a lot of his pitch videos really are in that arena, right? Um, but I mean, I think that sometimes if you're pitching for a specific show, it can be helpful to sort of dress up as the part or play the part to pitch yourself as that. That can be one way to pitch yourself for a project. Thank um, you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hopefully that helps. Um, Diane Matlett. Hi Val. Hi. Hi. Good, Good to see you. I, I pitched myself in December. I remember it was after one of your videos and I got an audition. I remember that. So that was amazing. I didn't do a pitch video, but I just sent an email. And I believe if I remember, I, I, I had a link with my reel. But um, uh, I want to ask you, because I always like if you don't have a video pitch, right? Um, I think it's a good idea to have at least one link with like a reel or like something that actually can resonate with the part, what do you think? Oh, absolutely. So, I, I do think it's good. So yeah. I also think that you can say, and if you do a video, you can say, look in the email below and I, my, attack. And all of you, um, all of you should have a signature line in your email and you can, and you can do a free signature line with using the app wise stamp w-i-s-e stamp wise and, 
wise stamp. That's a way to create your signature line in your email. And in your signature line, you can have your headshot, a link to, um, you know, spotlight or actors access or IMDB or your reel. You can put whatever you want in your signature line. And it's good to have your headshot in your signature line always so they can see what you look like right away. And it's just important to have your information in your signature line because then you know, they don't have to go search for you. They can just hit your signature line. They can see, you know, and I would personally, the most important thing, no matter where you live in the world is IMDB Pro. Um, it's really important to have your reel on IMDB Pro, any clips that you have on IMDB Pro, more important than Spotlight, more important than Actors Access. Why? Because the only people that know about Spotlight and Actors Access are casting directors and agents. If you pitch yourself to a producer or a director, they are going to go look you up on IMDb Pro. Mm -hmm. So if you do not have an IMDb Pro, you need to go get it today. Yeah. It's more important than everything, anything. Yeah. One question. So I'm pitching actually right now, but my manager uh, wants to pitch. So, so um, he told me also, I'm going to pitch it for you. So I, I'm going to send like a, like a feel that that's good for the part because, you know, everything depends. I feel like the beginning of each reel is so important, you know, depending on what you're auditioning for. Right. So it's good yeah. to have good reel, like, right uh, and but I, I always have a problem with like choosing because I'm like oh I have this audition and I audition for this part and I can also do that so if it's still on the same page if it's similar to that role I'm pitching for I can still do a good like I can still attach a good audition right or like a piece of a good audition absolutely you can attach whatever you want just remember okay. not to fire hose them because like if you send them everything they don't it's too overwhelming right <laughs> And the other thing I want to tell you guys, if you have an active agent and manager that's actually picking up the phone on your behalf, which is fucking hard to find, but if you do have one that's actually picking up the phone and pitching you to casting directors, you don't need to be pitching yourself to casting directors. You know, you need to be pitching yourself to directors, producers, and writers. If Now, if the, if the agent is doing what most agents are doing, which is just clicking and submitting, then you should be pitching, right? And the reason that pitch videos are the thing we're talking about right now is because of COVID. Because before COVID, we were doing drop-offs because they really worked. That's how Chris Pan got to know Ridley Scott's office by doing a drop-off to Ridley Scott's office. That's how he got to know that office. And so, before, you know, we've been teaching drop-offs forever. And before drop-offs, we used to, you know, we used to steal the breakdowns before they made that impossible to do. So, right, like we've always figured out, I've been teaching the business of acting since 1995. Like I had a separate business. And then in 2012, I started Actors Fast Track. We're 10 years old this year. and. Um, I, my goal has always been to help an actor figure a way around the rules that da actually literally don't exist, but the rules, right? Right. And so how do we get beyond those? So we get in front of the people we want to get in front of. All right. Okay. Diana, thank you, Diana. All right, Paul, question. Hey, Valerie. Hi. Um, hi. Question for you. What about pitching to directors, producers that you've already auditioned for, but haven't booked with yet? I think that's great. Okay. I think, I think it's great to go back and so say something like, hey, it's Paul. Good to see you. I hope everything's going well for you. Hope you had a good holiday or hope you're, you know, staying safe uh, in these crazy times we're in. And I just wanted to drop in and say hello. So, Paul, I got to tell you this. One of my clients at Christmas, I told her, go back to everyone that's hired you in the last five years and send them like a $10 or a $20 Starbucks card. She did that. January 8th, she got a call, a direct offer for Law & Order. 
Yeah. She, nice. didn't even, she didn't even have to audition. And okay. Law and Order, you guys, for you guys that don't know, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Like, it's like residuals from now until the day you die. Right. Because it's like, it's so, you know, it's, it's so, it's such a great, it's like, I, I get so much money from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., How I Met Your Mother. I mean, those, oh, ER. Oh, my God. I did ER in 2006. I still make money from that damn show. Yeah. Right? right. So you want to get one of those shows that's syndicated. Yeah. Really okay. good. Yeah. Okay. So go back. You know, usually like Paul, when I'm working with an actor, I will generally tell them to go sell to what I call low hanging fruit first. Yeah. Because that's. Low hanging fruit is who's ever hired you before or who you went, maybe you went to a workshop and they had really good things to say about you, or you had a really good audition and you got called back for that's low hanging fruit. You always want to try to sell yourself to low hanging fruit first because they're more likely to buy. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. You guys. So the assignment is to take one of the people off your list do a pitch video for them and post it in the I Love Actors Facebook group. Don't send it, post it in the I Love Actors Facebook group. And I'm gonna enroll Scott in this. And by the way, for anyone on here that is a client specifically that has done a lot of pitch videos, right, in the past, um, if you wanna give some uh, remarks to people's pitch video, please feel free to do that. Anna, uh, she's been really good at doing pitch videos. She certainly knows how to post them. Violetta is someone that's real good. We've got Regina on here. We've got Heidi. We've got Maggie. We've got Emma. You know, we've got um, Chris down here, you know, that's been doing pitch videos. So, um, you know, Anna Maria, pitch videos. She's got it down. She's doing it. Amy Schumacher's on here. Tony Scott's on here. Um, you know, Effie's on here. There's a lot of clients on here. Uh, so if you guys want to give feedback to these people and help them, that would be really, really helpful. You're welcome to do that. I will do my best to, to look at everyone's pitch video and give you feedback. Uh, okay. One more question from Arvid. Go on, Arvid. Tell me what the question is. Just really quickly. Did you say anything about the length, how long it should be? If I, I didn't hear it, if you did. No, I didn't, but that's yeah. a good question. One minute. Okay. I, cool. I think people have no patience. No, I, I agree. I think that sounds good. <laughs> so I would say one minute is good. I don't think it, you know, don't go on and on because they won't watch it. It's just like a reel, you know, you want to get your good stuff off first. Cool. Great. Thank hey, you. Kimber Kimberly, you got a question? Yeah, I don't plan, I don't think I'll be able to do a video. So my question, I'm already concerned that it may be too long in an email, which I normally hear when it comes to agent letters. So would you say same not apply when it comes to directors, producers, and writers, et cetera? Um, again, um, you know, I always think short and sweet is better. And if you need to write it out, write it out, Kimberly. Okay, so don't worry about the video. Just write out what you're going to say. And you can do a written pitch by all means. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just saying I'm concerned that it's, I already feel that it's going to be too long with the 10 things you mentioned versus too well, small. Remember what I said about the 10 things. You don't need to have all the 10 things. Okay. That, that's that you choose what you use from the 10 things. So how many minimum or max would you say? It doesn't and matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not the point. The point is to give you 10 things to put in your pitch bucket. So 10 things that you have to choose from when you're working on pitches that you can utilize, but how much you want to put, it's up to you. Okay. Okay. You. And remember, it doesn't need to be perfect, Kimberly. That's why I'm asking you to do it and put it on the I Love Actors Facebook group, because I'm going to give you feedback. Okay, cool. Maggie? Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, so thanks for the whole week has been amazing. Um, so my thought was to contact a casting director that's cast me several times, Eric Dawson. And, yes. uh, uh, 
you know, I, I, I put him on my list because I, I also thought he might be helpful with, you know, connecting me with people that like directors and things that might be great for our movie. Um, so I don't know if I put that in this pitch video or I just say, hi, thanks for always thinking of me. And I love being on 911 and you're the best, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, I, no I, I definitely think you should go for the la- for what you said. And I, why don't you just, you know what I think? I think that you should invite him out for coffee or dessert or something and say, look, I, I want to talk to you about some, about this movie project I've got, you know, because he might end up being the casting director on that movie, you know? And so why don't you, why don't you take him out for pastry or coffee or see if he's available for that? And you don't need to do a pitch video. Why don't you just call him? Oh, (laughs) yeah. Okay. Is that done? Do actors get, get, through to no, people? just say, of course, just say, hey, is Eric available? This is Maggie Cummings, and um, I, I, yeah, what's this in regard to? I want to talk to him about uh, a movie that I've written, and it's got legs, and you know how we might be able to work together. Okay, that's why you're talking to him. Yeah, that's true. I would okay. definitely do that. I would pick up the phone and do that, Maggie. I mean, okay. you've got major credits. I mean, he cast you a gigantic guest star. He's going to pick up the phone for you. That would be, I like the way you're thinking. Because <laughs> in my mind, he's like, no, nah, nah, nah. but uh, okay. I love that. Thank you. And- Isn't it interesting, like someone like you with the friends that you have and the credits that you have, you think that way? It's like, that's a mindset thing, Maggie. That's like, yeah. ah, ah, ah. <laughs> like it's, it's the, it's the thing I work on. I even write that quality into my characters. And it's the thing that we all have to overcome. You know, every character I write has got to overcome this self-doubt, you know? I mean, like you are, you know, you should be able to call any casting director in the country literally (laughs) okay and ask for an audition right like I I don't think that that's a big deal for you like I would like I'm just gonna make that that's true that that's not a big deal for you okay I gotta I gotta try that business suit on Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? Um, yeah, you got to put that, that business suit on. Okay. I'm going to answer a couple more questions and then I got one one other, uh, uh, the way to find his phone number is. Oh, that's easy. All rich Dawson and Fritzer is probably on IMDb pro. The phone number is probably right there. It's definitely in the call sheet and the call sheet is on the Facebook group. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Heidi. Super quick, um, I was writing something to Chris Pan. I missed the name, the last name of Jessica and the other person that might have emails if we were requesting it. There was a guy's name and I totally missed Alec it. Alec Tincher, T-I-N-C-H-E-R. He's a new coach for Actors Fast Track. Okay, and then the Jessica girl, I'm so sorry, thank Jessica you. Jessica Dowdswell, Dowdswell, she's Australian. I can't do that accent. Okay, thank you. D-O-W-D-S-W-E-L-L. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That's it. It was. Wait, who's Knights of Pluto? Is that Paul? What's Hi, Knights of Pluto. <laughs> hello. 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 <laughs> so when we are pitching ourselves, I so basically I just did my first big feature film. Um, Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. And I, and I'm kind of like, like I'm kind of one half. I'm like, they've slapped me with so many NDAs. And then the other half, I'm like, right, I've seen myself in the trailer. So can I kind of use that to pitch as well? Can I just, should I be telling people about it or should Um, I kind of? You can't. Are you on IMDb yet? Yeah. Oh, it's, you're listed in the thing. Yeah. Well, then you can say something. Well, I well I put my own credit on there because they in the weren't. Trailer. You're in the trailer. I'm in the trailer. Yeah. 
I asked my agent, can I put myself on the IMDb? And she kind of got in touch with them and they said, it's okay. And you can say it. If it's on IMDb, you can say it. Okay. Do when you think I should put When's the movie come out? In April. I mean, you're in the trailer. I, I think for a pitch video for someone that's in the industry, I think it's fine. Okay. Should but I put like big, big uh, capital letters, like actor from this movie, or is that too much? Do you think? No, you should ev- hold up everything always until you get the next big thing. Every big credit you get, you use that to leverage yourself to the next credit. And, um, you know, and let and and tell that British polite shit to leave the door, right? Like, oh, I'm not supposed to brag about myself. Yes, you are. That's like if you if you're in a big movie, you tell people you're in a big movie until you're in the next big movie, and so on and so on, so on. You leverage everything you have always to leverage it to the next thing, right? And so how you leverage it is who you be. Right. So like I have a client who's playing Andy Warhol in Ryan Murphy's new piece. Right. And the reason he hired me is like, how do I leverage that to get me into the next piece? And so he's an artist. So he's writing these handwritten notes to people as Andy Warhol. Right. And that's what he's doing. And so You have to find your way of communication and maybe your way isn't, I'm in this movie. Maybe it's not, but like, maybe it's like, uh, I just had the opportunity to work with Chris Nolan or whoever it was that directed your movie. And it was such a pleasant thing. And I got cast by, you know, Sophie Holland or whoever you got cast by. And it was an amazing experience. And I would love to work with you. So you make it sound like, you know, you you tap into the artistry of the movie that you did, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 100%. Okay, great. Harry? Wicked, thank you. Yeah. Hello, more polite British shit. Hi. Um, Hello, right, can... British. Hello, yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just wa- wanted to gre- really like the advice about IMDb Pro. It's always good to know that I'm doing something wrong so I can fix it. Um, but the my, my query, though, is what to do if pretty much all of your camera credits, you, all of your screen credits are just like student films, independents, short films. Like, is that still eligible for something like IMDb Pro? If it's on IMDb Pro, it's eligible. And a lot of the student films like the Met and and schools like that, they put their credits on there because they the filmmakers want those credits on IMDb. If if their project is not on IMDb, you can't put their project on IMDb for them. But if the project's on and you're not listed, you might already have you might already be on IMDb. And well, so then it's your job to join pro and get your headshot and your cre- and your links up there and your, you know, put everything and write a bio, your headshot. And by the way, you guys on IMDb Pro, don't make it like headshots all the way across. Make sure that you have screenshots, uh, even if they're shots from your acting class or a red carpet shot, like, you know, everyone has a step and repeat everywhere. But try to make it not all headshots, okay? All right. Okay. All right. Awesome, fantastic, okay, you guys. thank you. Thank you, um, thank you so much. We stayed on here extra long today, but that's okay, I don't have a client today. Uh, so go do your, go, go do your, um, assignment and I will be on the lookout for when you begin to post them. All right, you guys have a great day and I'll see you here at one o'clock tomorrow. Same channel. Bye. Okay. Bye everyone. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.